In this video, we're going to define matrix multiplication. I'm going to show you how it works, and we're going to formally define it using all of the you know, rigorous notation. And this is useful if you're trying to learn to write proofs uh, involving uh, matrix products. So the matrix here, it's M by P, which means it has M rows and P columns. This is called the dimension of the matrix. Uh, B has dimension P by N, so this is P rows and N columns. Whenever these inside numbers match like this, you see how they're the same, that's good. That means we can multiply and the result has dimension of the outer numbers, so M by N. So how do you multiply uh, these matrices in order to get AB? Let me show you. So we're gonna let uh, AIJ, that's going to denote, denotes the IJ entry of A. And Bij will denote, this denotes the Ij entry of B. And then we need uh, some notation um, for AB. Let's use Cij. That's going to denote, so this denotes the Ij entry whoops, there we go, entry of AB, which we could call C, I guess, so that's why I'm using C. Actually, I use C because it's the next letter in the alphabet, so, <laughs> so good stuff. All right, let's, let's figure out what the IJ entry is of this new matrix. So basically what you do in order to get the um, IJ entry of AB is you take the ith row of A and you basically multiply it uh, by the bth column of uh, j, sorry, jth column of b. So it's kind of like ith row of a. It's really a dot product of vectors. And then you do the jth column of b. That's essentially a matrix of dot products. Okay, let me give you a picture because I think with the picture, that's why I wanted to make this video is to show you the picture. The picture will clear it all up. But again, to get the IJ entry of AB, you multiply, uh, quote unquote, the ith row of A with the jth column of B. It's like a, it's like a sum of products. It's basically a dot product. Okay, let's write down A. So here is, uh, I guess I have room here. So here's gonna be A. And uh, let's look at the ith row of A. So maybe it's here. So this is A, I1, A, I2, writing a little bit small, sorry, because we need, we need room here. And then this will be A, I. And let's think where we stop. Well, these are columns, right? One column, two columns. A has P columns. So this is A, I, P, right? A, I, P. So this is A. So this is the ith row of A. And now let's look at the jth column of B. So maybe it's here. So this is B1J, B2J, right? The first number is the row. So we're in the second row. That's why we have a two there, okay? So it's IJ, row column, row column, dot, dot, dot. And then here we have B, and this would be, uh, this one has P rows. So it'll be PJ, right? It's the Pth row. So this is the jth column of B. So it's the ith row of A times the jth column of uh, B. When I say times, you'll see what I mean. And this is going to give us Cij, which is maybe here. This is the entry in the ith row and jth column. So how do you get it? Let me show you the formula. So it's a dot product. So Cij is equal to, so I'm gonna use a different color now. I'm gonna go to yellow. So we're gonna take this one and multiply it by this one, okay? So it'll be A, I, one, B, one, J, just like that, and then plus, and then it's A, I, two, B, two, J. So it's A, I, two, B, two, J, plus, dot, 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 plus, a I P B P J. Okay, so 
the CIJ, this little guy is all of this. It's ridiculous, <laughs> right? So it is a lot. So what is this? You can write this as uh, as a sum, right? So see, this is what typically what you see in books is the sum. It's like, whoa, where'd it come from? So now hopefully you have some idea of, of where it comes from. So we're going from K equals one. Notice the one that's varying here. The, the, one, the term that varies is this one, one, two, all the way to P. So we're going to go to P. So it'll be A, I, and then K, B, K, J. You see how I took the one, see how it's one, two, all the way to P? That's what you call K in your sum. That's how you go from here to here. You see K equals one, K equals two, see one, one, two, two. It goes all the way to K equals P, which is what you see here at the end. So this is the I, J entry of A, B. So to find the ij entry of a matrix, you take the ith row of your first matrix and you multiply it by the jth row, jth column of your other matrix. It's row times column, row times column. Um, when I say multiply, again, it's like a dot product of vectors, right? If you think of this as a vector, you think of this as a vector, um, you're basically taking a dot product. So let's, let's do just a really simple example of some matrix multiplication, just an easy one, just to make the point. Um, let's see. Um, so one, two, um, three, four. And let's just do two, two, two by two matrices. One, three, zero, zero, just to make it easy. So these are both two by two matrices. So over here, this one is uh, two by two. That's two rows, two columns. Same thing here, two rows, two columns. And so let's do it, right? So we're looking for the entry in the first row, first column. So we use the first row, first column. So instead of ith row, jth column, we're saying first and first, because this is one, one. This is the first row, first column. So one times one plus two times zero. There's that dot product, right? So you're taking one times one, then two times zero. And now we're in the first row. This is still the first row, second column. So one times three plus two times zero. And then uh, now we're in the second row. Okay, this is the second row where my cursor is. Second row, first column. So three times one plus four times zero. Four times zero. So three times one, four times zero. And this is the second row, second column. So three times three plus four times zero. I wasn't really going to do an example. I just, random video. I just thought, let me just make a video and talk about it. Um, but it's good to see some numbers. So this is one. Uh, right, because it's one plus zero, and then this is uh, three, right, three, and this is three, and this is nine. Let me just double check that. So let's see. One times one plus two times zero is one. Boom. One times three plus two times zero is three. Boom. Three times one plus four times zero is three. Boom. Three times three plus four times zero is nine. Boom. It looks okay. So to find any entry in the matrix, you take the ith row and you multiply it by the jth column. That always works. And that's how you do matrix multiplication. But really the point of this video uh, was to give you this, right? It was to give you this, this notation. And, and so you see where this magical thing, right? This, this right here comes from because you often see this in books the book will say you know if you have a matrix with you know these entries here you know aij bij then the product is and they just give you this boom so um, i think drawing a picture and and seeing how uh, it works makes it a little bit easier and you know it takes practice um, to get good at um, so yeah hopefully this video has been helpful in some way to you good luck and take care